Okay, we correct an error in preceding the 1025 class uh, where we have the question of uh, what are the pre-images of the column vector 1, 2, negative 1 under the mapping indicated by the first four columns of this uh, augmented matrix. And as we did then, we reduced the augmented matrix. I went ahead and reduced it step by step. And we got this. And then uh, we wrote down what the rows of the matrix are telling. So we wrote down the equations corresponding to the rows where we're assuming that the first row <coughs> represents the coefficients of x1, second row of x2, third row of x3, fourth row the coefficients of x4. And as we, you know, I, I didn't make the mistake I made last time because of course I was alerted to it by my attempt, uh, my first attempt to explain what I did in class last time here on the video uh, led me to say what in the world went wrong there and I finally noticed that I'd copied the zero, uh, that I'd put a zero here instead of the one. Okay, well, having done that, we get these rows, we get, I mean, these equations corresponding to the rows and we conclude that then x1, x2, x3, x4 has a form 0, 1, 0, 0 plus x4 times 1, negative 1, negative 1, 0. Um, and I think that's supposed to be uh, 1, negative 1, negative 1, 1, not 1, negative 1, negative 1, 0. Okay. Um, we can verify that this vector from by the transformation maps onto the 0 vector. Uh, we also see from the reduction that the row space has dimension 3, so that the column space also has dimension 3. We know that the dimension of the row space plus the dimension of the null space, the set of vectors that map to zero, has to equal the dimension of the space we started out on. We started out in R4, which has dimension 4, row space has dimension 3, the null space therefore has to have dimension 1. Here's a vector in the null space because this vector does map to zero so that the null space is spanned by this vector. The set of all multiples of this vector, x4 could be anything, the set of all multiples of this vector forms the null space. So to a general vector in the null space, to every vector in the null space, we add the vector 0, 1, 0, 0, which you can verify does map onto 1, 2, negative 1. And we get the set of all vectors that map onto 1, 2, negative 1. Okay, that set consists of this single vector plus a vector from this null space. Okay, now this vector isn't in the null space. The set of vectors that you get when you add this vector to vectors in the null space is not a subspace, but it is a set within R4, and it's a set within R4 that's uh, as big as the null space, because every vector in the null space matches in a one-to-one -one manner with a vector that's a solution to this equation. Um, and the vectors in this set all map onto the vector 1, 2, negative 1. Okay. So, and we're going to let that kind of motivate the definition of the kernel of a matrix. Okay, the kernel of a matrix of a transformation. The kernel of the transformation defined by the matrix is a set of solutions of AX equals zero, where X and the zero are vectors. Okay, this is a set of vectors, in other words, that map to zero. That's the null space, just another way of saying it. It's uh, the kernel of the transformation. Uh, it can be identified with the null space. Um, if we write out the equation AX equals zero for the same matrix that we've been using. Right here it is. This reduces to this, and this leads to the equations X1 minus X4, X1 plus X, X2 plus X4, X3 plus X4 equals zero, which leads to the conclusion that X4 times 1, negative 1, negative 1, 1 is a solution to the equation. And that is the general solution to the equation. There's no other solution. There's only one 
free variable, okay, x4, and we choose x4 as the free variable, uh, so that the set consisting only of that one vector spans the kernel, which therefore has dimension 1. <coughs> so, we, in the language uh, of transformations, and in language similar to what you've seen if you saw the videos for the preceding class, the preimage 1, 2, negative 1 is Now, when I wrote this down, I didn't write it in really good form. I should have written it as a, as a set. But anyhow, it's the vector 0, 1, 0, 0 added to an arbitrary multiple of this. So it's the set of all such vectors such that t is a real number. Okay, now it's kind of bunched up there. It's a set of vectors 0, 1, 0, 0 plus t times 1, negative 1, negative 1, 1, the, uh, a vector that spans the null space for t being real numbers. Okay? And here we use t instead of x4. We used x4 down here. I used t up here. It means the same thing. x4 can be anything, any real number. t can be any real number. So, this vector maps to 1, 2, negative 1. This vector is in the kernel, so it maps to 0. So that if you map this plus this, the transformation is linear, you get whatever the transformation does to this, which is the vector 1, 2, negative 1. It gives you the vector 1, 2, negative 1, plus whatever the transformation does to this, but since this is in the kernel, it maps to 0. So you get 1, 2, negative 1 plus 0 vector, which is just 1, 2, negative 1. <coughs> now there's language that we have used already, and we're going to use it here just to relate this to what we've done and what's coming up on the test. Um, we could call this vector x sub p, we could call this vector x sub h, where x sub p stands for a particular solution, a vector that maps onto this, and x sub h is a solution to the homogeneous equation. Okay, the homogeneous equation being ax equals zero. Okay, well, there's your solution. This is the solution to the homogeneous equation. So, your preimage consists of vectors x equals xp plus xh, where xp is this vector, xh is any vector in your kernel, any solution to the homogeneous equation. Um, and we again have the picture. Um, we have the kernel now that maps onto zero. We call that the null space. It's an equivalent term. And here is the space kernel plus the vector 0, 1, 0, 0. And we've talked about that already. Just take every vector in the kernel and add this to it. You get the vectors in here. None of the vectors in here um, are in here. And all the vectors in the kernel map to 1, 2, negative 1. I'm sorry, all the vectors in this kernel plus 0, 1, 0, 0. This is called an affine space, but you don't need that terminology right now. Map to the 1, 2, negative 1 vector. Everything in the kernel maps to the 0 vector. So again, I've kind of said that this set uh, and this subspace are kind of parallel, but this set is not a subspace. <coughs> 